Hey guys, it's me. So today I'm going to be doing a back to school slash kind of fall haul. That rhymes. I'm super excited to show you everything that I got. I think like half the clothes I got at least were from were from me thrifting. Let's just get started. I am going to start with thrifting because I found some really cool finds that I think you guys will appreciate. I'm gonna start with the skirts I got. First of all, I haven't done anything with this one yet. And by done anything, I mean it's too big for me. So I do need to make some adjustments, but I just thought it was cute. And I thought that the colors were kind of cool. Haven't sewed anything on it yet because I'm lazy, but I did thrift flip a dress into one of those really cool flowy skirts. This is what it looks like. Looks so much better on, obviously, because you can't really see all the details. Very cute. I love it so much. Basically, all I did is just take in the sides a little bit and put an elastic on. But I love how it has the ruching and then also some lace. I just think that it's really cute and I feel like these skirts are in style. I saw one at Brandy for like $40. I did this dress for, I think it was like 6 or $7. Okay, next I got two grandpa sweaters because fall is like sweater weather. This is the first one. It's just a very big comfy sweater. This is what it looks like on. Um... At first I like thought it was kind of ugly, but I like how the colors are just kind of muted. Then I got like pretty much the same size. Everything except the colors are just different. Very cute, very fun. And then this isn't really a sweater. I forgot what it's called, but it's like a long sleeve button up. The forest green color is just like so cute to me. And oh my gosh, okay. Like the little button up. I was also thinking about wearing this like under t-shirts when it gets like very cold outside. Then the last long sleeve thing that I got thrifting, it's really cool. It's just like this long sleeve t-shirt. It's like two guitars. Um, I was FaceTiming my friends and showing them the clothes that I thrifted and my friend Audrey told me it looked like something from Twilight. So apparently I am Twilight core now. The last few things I thrifted all just short sleeve shirts. So I really like this one. I cropped it but it's like brown and it just says love on it with a dove. And then the next one I got, I was gonna crop it at first, um, but I decided I actually like it long. It's this like cream color with like blue, white, and black, I think, stripes. It's just cute. The last thing I thrifted is absolutely one of the craziest thrift finds I've ever had. They're these vintage looking gray Converse and I say vintage because the tag looks different. It says like all star. Um. But they are indeed Converse. You can tell that they're super beat up. I clean them like a lot. Um, and they no longer even smell bad. So that's good. But they were $6. Um, and then since I showed you those shoes, I also got Doc Martens. I've wanted these for so long. And I specifically wanted like the patent leather ones. Because I love how they're shiny. This is them. So pretty. And I love styling them. The only reason I got them though is because I found these in the kids section. So they were $75 instead of like $150. And I don't really know what the difference is. But I'm really happy I got these. Next we're going to do PacSun slash Brandy. I got zip up sweatshirt. Okay, I'm just going to put it on at this point. Okay. I love this so much. And I feel like it's just so comfy. I just really love the sweatshirt really love it the next few things i got from brandy i'm just gonna show you real quick um they're all just like tank tops for like layering and stuff i got this tank top i really like the lace detailing i think it's really cute i really like lace like the girly side of me likes to have lacy articles of clothing not that it can't be masculine but like i don't know it just makes me feel like eh. and i love like the cross detailing then i got just this button up top it's brown. It looks really cute with my like flowy skirt. Last thing I got from Brandy or PacSun. I don't have a Brandy near where I live, but the mall I go to does have a PacSun, which has Brandy stuff in it. And then I ordered this online. Okay, I felt the need to explain that. This shirt, and this is called the Bella Top, which is kind of funny to me because, uh, why is Twilight? Because like Twilight. Comment down below if you're Team Edward or Team Jacob. I hate both of them. I like it so much. Anyways, last store is Target, and surprisingly, I only got a couple things from them this year. But I got these like jeans. Um, I just really like the color. I've been wanting this color of jeans for a while. These are so cute. I love them. Um, and they go with literally anything, which is 
why I got them. And then I also got this shirt. I, I just really like the Beatles and I thought the shirt was cute. I do want to share a little moment I had with someone at my work. I was wearing the shirt and they were like, okay, in kind of a joking way, but still. Name 10 Beatles songs. I'm so tired of people asking me. Oh, really? You watch Nirvana? Name 10 songs. Nirvana is not like underground. Sorry, I'm just mad. It bothers me though, because seriously, like especially with like Nirvana, Prince, the Beatles, everyone knows who they are. Like, why are you acting like- Why are you gatekeeping the Beatles? Anyways, now I'm gonna take a thumbnail. I'm gonna create a stack. I feel stupid and contagious. Should I do a Nirvana cover? Guys, if I title this video Grunge Back to School Hall, will people get mad at me? Because I feel like some of it is definitely some of the thrifted pieces. But like, it's not like e-girl aesthetic, which is what you see when you look up on like Pinterest. I'm so mad right now. Why am I so mad? The whole style of grunge was based off it being cheap and stuff. Oversized sweaters, distressed jeans, band tees, things that have been thrifted. I just wanted to say that. Okay, I'm gonna go now. <sighs> pie. Pie? Bye. Not pie. Thank you for watching.